What's up, y'all? Today, I'm talking about how to fire your band members. What happens when your singer becomes addicted to heroin? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with a guy that uh, goes to a gig and is super professional and plays really well? He goes to the bar and gets completely wasted, completely hammered, shot after shot after shot, comes back on the bandstand stumbling and not even knowing what key the first song is in. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with a drummer that's, again, extremely talented guy, shows up to the rehearsal tripping on acid? What do you do when these guys start messing with your time and your reputation? How do you deal with it? Tell them why and how their behavior is affecting you and make it clear that you have absolutely no judgment on what they want to do on their free time. So you have to let them know that whatever they're doing is making you super uncomfortable. They don't know how their behavior is affecting everybody else because they're in their own world. They're high, they're drunk, they're whatever, they're tripping, they're rolling. So you have to make it clear to them so that they understand that they have made a mistake. That's the first thing. If you skip that, nothing else you say after that point holds any weight at all. The famous words of Ron Cooper, this is just not a good fit. The next thing you want to do is to give them a strike, okay? So three strike policy is usually good. Maybe uh, one strike might just be enough. And that may solve your problem right there and you won't actually have to go the extra mile to fire somebody. So finally, you've given the guy uh, a strike two strikes, three strikes. Um, I remember playing in a band, we had a pothead drummer. The drummer was not a bad drummer, he was a good drummer, he could, he could, he had some chops, and he would smoke a bowl, like, right before he went on stage. And all of a sudden, everything we rehearsed went out the window. Faster, slower, faster, slower. There was no rhyme or reason to it at all. What do you do on that last strike? Because whatever you say is going to make them realize right away that they're about to get cut. And they're going to use every single trick in the book to try and manipulate you and psychologically trick you and convince you that you're the bad guy. And actually, you know, they didn't even do anything wrong. And they're going to start bringing up all the bad things that you did. And how dare you tell me this when you did this and you can't fire me, I quit and all this kind of nonsense, right? So all you say to that is... I totally respect your opinion, man, but we've already discussed this with the other members and we all agree you want to be as nice as you can be, but don't lose your footing. Don't lose your grounding. Don't let them manipulate you and trick you into thinking that, well, by firing them, you're actually the bad guy and you're actually missing out. I'd say about 99.999% of the time, uh, you know when it's time to uh, pull out the old hatchet. There's no convincing, there's no change, there's no more strikes. Everybody else in the band's mind has been made up. And so I even had a guy that I fired once that came to a gig demanding to be let backstage, to come on the gig and play on the stage. Even though I made it clear to all the security guards, all the bouncers there, that the guy was not in the band, he had been fired. And so this guy tried to trick everybody. He tried to, he li he tried to lie his way into the bandstand, which... It's like, dude, let it go. Like, he was a talented guy. He could have started his own group. In a business situation, when my reputation's on the line, and my name, and my work, and my hours, and hours, and hours of, of labor and passion is put into something, and then you're going to just step all over it and mess it up, uh-uh, it's not going to happen. So sometimes you have to just trim the fat and keep it moving, and don't get emotionally involved in it. It's going to be difficult, you're going to feel guilty about it, but that feeling will pass. But let me know what you guys think. Have you had to fire a band member? Have you had to fire an employee or something? Are you a manager somewhere? Have you ever been fired yourself? Have you been fired unjustly from a band? And then you'll get a call, you know, two hours like before the gig was actually supposed to start. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, di I didn't mean to, uh, you know, uh, totally uh, ghost on you and uh, promise that I was going to pay you. And then, you know, not actually. What are you supposed to do? You're basically fired in that situation. But they didn't do it the proper way. They did it the sort of. Uh, uh, stick your head in the sand and close your eyes and sing la 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 and hope the problem goes away. 
that method is not the professional way to do it. But let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. We'll keep the conversation going. And it might even be a win-win for the guy that got fired because that lesson might actually teach him something. He might be a kind of guy that's surrounded by yes men and this is the first mistake that he's actually made. And he might come back 10 years later and be better than ever. I just think that if you're able to keep your emotions out of it, stay professional, stay grounded, don't let these guys manipulate you. Keep in mind that you're making a decision for the betterment of the band and the betterment of everybody. That's how you get the money.